Welcome to today's deep dive into two Linux distributions that have been making waves in the gaming community, Catchy OS and Nobara. In this video, we'll compare these two distros side by side, exploring their philosophies, performance tweaks, ease of use, and overall gaming experience to help you decide which one might best suit your needs. Overview Catchy OS is an arts based distribution that focuses on performance optimization. Its developers take advantage Its developers take advantage of compiling packages with advanced CPU optimizations. Targeting modern instruction sets to squeeze out every bit of performance. While this approach can yield slight FPS improvements in some benchmarks, it does mean that older hardware might be left behind. Catchy OS is a great fit for gamers who appreciate a cutting edge, customizable system and are comfortable with an arch based environment. Novara, on the other hand, is built on Fedora and is designed with gaming in mind. Developed by Glorious Eggroll. Novara comes pre configured with gaming tools and driver support, including seamless integration for NVIDIA users. Its out of the box polish and stability make it an excellent choice for those transitioning from Windows or for gamers who prefer a just works experience without too much tinkering. Now let's talk about the key differences base system and package management. Catch OS uses Arch Linux ruling release model and the Pac-Man package manager. This approach means you are often getting the latest software updates, but it also requires a bit more manual maintenance. In contrast, Nobara is based on Fedora, benefiting from a more curated set of packages and DNF as its package manager. This can result in a smoother initial experience, especially for users new to Linux gaming. Now let's talk about the performance optimizations. Catchy OS takes a unique approach by recompiling packages with optimization tailored to modern CPUs. In benchmarks, these tweaks have sometimes resulted in marginal FPS gains in certain titles. However, the real world differences are often subtle. Nobara focuses on a polished environment and includes pre installed tools and tweaks. The streamline gaming performance, often delivering a more stable experience for everyday gamers. Now let's talk about the user experience and setup. With Catchy OS, you get the freedom and flexibility, typical of Arch-based systems. This means more hands-on configuration, but also the reward of a highly personalized setup. Nobara, by contrast, aims to reduce the setup headache by pre-configuring many gaming-centric settings and including drivers out of the box. This makes Nobara particularly appealing if you are looking for a distro that just works from the moment you install it. Now let's talk about the performance and real-world impact. Both distributions have their fans. And benchmark shows that while Catchy OS can offer slightly performance advantages in some scenarios, the differences in average FPS are often within a margin of error. Many gamers report that the choice between the two comes down to preference. Do you want a system optimized for raw performance and customization, catchy OS, or a more polished, ready-to-go gaming experience, Novara? Let's talk about the community and support. Community support plays a big role in any Linux distro's success. Catchy OS is backed by a passionate community that appreciates performance tweaks and cutting-edge kernel options. While Nobara benefits from the solid foundation of Fedora, along with active development from its lead maintainers, making it an attractive option for users who prefer stability and ease of maintenance. Now let's talk about the final thing, which is conclusion. In summary, if you are a gamer who loves to tinker, optimize, and push your hardware to its limits, Catch OS offers an arts based playground with specialized performance enhancements. On the other hand, if you want a streamlined, user friendly experience with everything set up for gaming right out of the box, Novara's Fedora roots and polished interface might be the exactly what you need. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which distro you lean towards and why. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more deep dives into the best Linux gaming experience. Peace out.